Dick Clark once said, music is a soundtrack to our lives. I agree with this statement. But how do you and I actually listen to our music? Well, simple. We just go to our hi-fi, switch it on, and listen to our favourite tunes. So simple. But none of this would be possible without the loudspeaker. But how does the thing actually work? Well, I'll start off with some history. It was invented in 1876 by this man, Alexander Graham Bell. It was invented by him when he created the telephone. He patented the loudspeaker as part of his telephone. But this was very primitive, and only in 1898, when a man, Oliver Lodge, expanded upon this design, were loudspeakers really something that was amazing. He used the moving coil method. The design was similar to this. A coil is wound around a central pull piece many times. Each end of the coil is then attached back to the source of the signal, which is an alternating electric current. When the electric current flowing through the voice coil reverses direction, the coil's polarity reverses also. This changing magnetic force between the voice coil and the surrounding magnet causes the coil, which is suspended by the spider, to move the diaphragm. The diaphragm then vibrates the air in front of the speaker and causes a sound wave. So we consider the speaker makes a noise, then it go, travels in a wave, a sine wave, is processed by the user's ear, and then finally the brain turns it into noise and music. But what is the spider made of? It's made of woven materials, fully inorganic, and then stained with the thermosetting resin. Well then, so you get all of the components and you attach them together. I know it sounds simple, but to be fair, the speaker isn't actually the most complex of things. Well, all I can really do now is, well, go back to doing what I love, and what I hope you love too, and that's listening to music. Thank you. This has been Johnny Dixon.